Hi everyone, this is Love Crafty Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the last four dates in my junk journal. Um, this will be the day of 28, 29, 30, and 31st. So I'm excited because I'm, I'm actually going to finish my junk journal. Um, and I already do have ideas for all of the pages that I have to work on. The last one though, I'm still kind of mm, thinking about it. But um, this particular day I do have ready and I think I have ready for the next two days as well. So continue watching to see what I put together for the last four days in December.
So here's the final look to putting together the last four days in my junk journal for the month of December. I love, I love how my junk journal came out. Um, to be honest, I think the main thing for me that helped me um, do my junk journals are the cards. Those were the inspiration to a lot of the um, creativity that I came up with for each of the pages. Um, the cards sort of gave me like an opening of ideas to like, oh, I can use this paper. Oh, I can use these stickers. And and so I love the cards. I think that's one of the best things to use, especially if you're not sure about junk journaling. I mean, I've seen videos where people use just different random paper. I'm a little bit different. I know people just like to do like overlapping things. I have a problem with that. It actually irks me <laughs> to overlap things or to just layer things. Um, I just don't like that just yet. I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. I'm not quite there yet with the overlapping and the overlaying and all that stuff. I like simplicity and where I can see everything. So for me being my first junk journal, I love how this came out. Um, for this one particularly, I just got this card a few days ago um, and I decided to use it. And luckily I needed it because the last few days of Jan Jan December, I didn't have much left to use. Um, so I relied on a lot on Christmas cards that I got this year. So this one I just got and I had these two that I got at the 99 cent store. There was a garland with little Santa Claus on them. So I decided to go ahead and put these there. And then for the following day, um, I actually ended up using cardstock paper for this. It's a, a booklet of cardstock paper and it had like these just big images. And I decided to go ahead and cut out another paper and just add it here where I could do my journaling. And then I decided to go ahead and use washi tape that represented what the image was. So luckily I had a Christmas tree one that went with this. And this one had some gold to it, even though it's not shiny, the deer, but the actual washi tape has a deer in there. So I thought that was kind of kind of cool to kind of put this together. Um, my tape is coming apart, so I'm gonna have to put some glue on that, which I'll do after. I tend to do that. I tend to go back to my pages and check to see if anything's been lifting like these do lift sometimes. So I'll just go back and put some glue stick on there and it seals it in. So to me, these are not a big deal. These are things that you have to always go back and check to see if anything's unsticking um, after you have posted, um, po po put together your pages. And for the last day, I used this last card. I actually did get this one also for Christmas this year. I thought it was a good way to end the day, the month. Um, Cause we all want peace, love and joy for the following year. So I thought that was a great card to put. I love the color. I love how it's shiny. And then I had leftover paper, which is what you saw me put places of paper around because that's all I have left for this page. So I said, go ahead and use that as a uh, background. And then for the inside, I just pushed, put a piece of, of the sticker. Of course I could, um, uh, change that and then the 31st at the top and that is it now me you might have seen that I had done a um, bookmark um, I have created this bookmark this is the actual thank you card I got in my crafty girl kit for Christmas there's an actual message in the back but I'm gonna keep that as private uh, she doesn't know me but you know she writes to your um, she'll send you a little note in your package saying thank you um, so I thought that was nice that I got one of those and so I thought I would make that into a bookmark and this would be the one where I would go back to wherever I left off in my journal writing because I will go back and do all the journaling um, during the month because uh, I have written down everything that's gone down so that I can go back and uh, write it all in so this is my uh, bookmark I made for this journal but overall I love how all of this came out this has been a fun journey I'm going to do like a little uh, recap of what I've created already. Uh, I thought this was all so much fun to do. I'm looking at some amazing stuff that I got to use. And I love everything about it. Now, I am going to be filming for February um, starting like mid-January. I already bought some cards. Um, I'm going to be ordering um, Crafty Girls Kit. It comes out on January 1st. So I will be looking out for that. Um, I also ordered another journal from her. Um, she sells her journals on Amazon, which is the one I have here. Um, I had said in another video that I really, really, really like this journal. Um, I think it was a perfect journal for all the cards that I used. They all fit perfectly well inside the journals. I think other journals are a little too small sometimes. 
and I also feel like even the thickness of this journal isn't as bad as I thought it would be because uh, I did use some chunky stuff like these are pretty chunky um, you know and I felt like maybe that wasn't going to be good to use but actually it was perfect um, so yes I will be doing um, that but I'm gonna start that in mid January so we can go all the way through February I'm gonna do the whole month like I did for December so the whole month of February is gonna be all um, Valentine themed and then like I said I already bought a few cards of Valentine's Day yesterday when I went to the store I need to go to Dollar Tree to see how much more stuff I can find to add and of course I'm gonna get the kit that she sells which I think will have more Valentine cards in it so I can implement that into my spread so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that but the journal I'm gonna get is similar to this one she sells these and the one I got is actual a Valentine theme one so that one's coming in the mail any day now so I'm getting prepped for that I have my washi tapes ready as well and um, paper I'm gonna be using that same pad of paper that I used the entire time to create um, the junk journal it has um, all the holidays in this one journal oh my journal one uh, pad of paper and I think it's perfect for what I'm using it for so look out for those videos that could be coming up soon um, I am going to be showing you a video on the planner envy box I got two of them which I haven't opened yet because I've been really focused on my junk journal I really wanted to finish something and I'm so happy that I got to finish this whole book um, and also I'll be doing I might have to go through my planner to see where I left off last year I plan on continuing where I left off on that planner to finish it up the year um, I will have to tweak it because obviously it's for 2022 and we're not going to be 2023 so that's an easy fix you just tweak the dumbers on the pages and nothing more uh, so that's gonna be fun to do and so I'm gonna look and see where I left off with that and I'll start start off wherever I left off from there so I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon with some planner envy unboxings as well as the February uh, Valentine's Day uh, junk journal as well all right guys I'll see you soon all right